Hey guys, Greg here, coming to you with another one of my uh, bonsais. We're going to show you another mango tree today. This is the, uh, the first mango tree that I started growing. Um, much like the other one, I grew this from seed. Came out of a seed pod. Um, it was very tasty. <laughs> but, like the other one, as I said, um, it cut the fruit up had a nice big seed pod um it was about eh, two inches big and inside of that pod was a seed and i kind of just put it flat in the pot now a different pot it was a little smaller than this uh now that i put this outside i put this in a really big pot with a lot of dirt so that the root grows and is able to strengthen this tree um, but um had it inside, growing inside of my grow tent for the winter months. And then I started to, whoa, hold on a second. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Now, a lot of you guys know Marv. He's, uh, he's on one of my other trees. But I just zoomed in here and found another spider growing on here. So that's great, taking care of all the bugs that are uh, out here growing up. But I digress, as uh, I was talking about the, the seed, and this guy, this little spider is going to be playing a little um, hiding game on me now that I found him. But um, this guy is about a foot, foot and a half high now. <clears throat> Started growing him, like I said, in the winter of this year, of 2023. And I was kind of worried when I started bringing it out because you can kind of see some leaf burn and it dying here on the ends on a couple of these original leaves. It was about, about this tall when I brought it out. And you can see that it's already kind of doubled in size <clears throat> since we've had it out here. And the new leaves that are coming here on the top, you can see how shiny and um, kind of oily that they look. Um, and kind of the membranes on these newer leaves, you can see, you can see how like ridge-like they are. I think that's kind of cool. Eventually when this guy gets a little bigger, I'm hoping next year, when it gets, gets taller, I'm hoping that I can cut it and then have it start kind of building in a V form, um, probably down on this level just to kind of shrink it down get these leaves because you can see the leaves on here are pretty big if you look at my hand it's about the about the size of my hand and I'd like to get them down more onto this level if possible but you can kind of see these guys are the original the OG leaves that grew on this uh, mango plant and you can kind of see they they lighten up as we go up a little bit and it looks like we're just getting a little bit bigger of leaves now as they start to grow. And on the like on the last one, I like to say that these kind of remind me of like alien life forms. Um, just with how they grow, the tendrils, which you don't really see on this one since it's just starting on the top here. Um, but I think these guys kind of look like aliens coming out and uh, growing. But you can kind of see the difference. So like... Here's a leaf that's been here for a, a while. You can see it's shiny and it's very flat. And as we get up, you can kind of see more of the membranes as they're going up here. Now I water this guy pretty much every day. So it does get a nice amount of water for it. So I try to keep the soil at least damp. And this is in a uh, citrus blend of soil that you can just get at your store. Um, I tend not to do anything crazy with it, but it does seem to hold the moisture well. This is in a pot that I have drilled plenty of holes on the bottom of it so that if it does overfill with water, it does drain. Don't have to worry about that. And it does get an ample amount of light in the morning. I don't give it all daylight. Um, I've been trying to, to figure that balance out. And when it goes in the grow light, it will be getting a lot more and you can say hi to my puppy right there as she comes walking by but um 
it will get a little bit more light here in the fall slash winter uh, as I put it back inside underneath the grow tent. But I've been kind of trying to play around with it. I did have this in a little bit more light during uh, the summer when I first brought this out when the frost was gone. And it just, like I said, with these leaves here, it kind of just kind of killed them and, and kind of curled them up. So I decided to move them out and put them just more in morning. And as soon as noontime comes, the, the sun goes away. And then um, you can kind of see the way the sun is going right now. That is the western side of the house. So the, the sun is not really hitting it in the afternoon. So this is my mango plant. If you have any questions please feel free to ask them down below in the comments we will be updating these as regular as i can hopefully by the month and especially over the winter as uh as we have time here because these guys will actually be growing actively in the winter time and like i said if you have any questions put them down below if you liked what you see please make sure to hit that like button down below underneath the video and Again, if you did like it, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really does help uh, get my you know, videos out there and for the YouTube algorithm just to uh, get it out there. But in the meantime, guys, watch some other videos. See some other trees that I have here in my garden. And uh, take care. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, guys. Greg here coming to you with another episode of Greg's Bonsai. Today we're going to be showcasing Mango B. So my last video was Mango A. I figured we'd just keep this going since this is going to be more of a uh, going into winter series. And uh, if I recall from last time, I think the mango was about yay tall, somewhere here to here. So we've already got a nice amount of growth here. And we can see that there is a whole new level here growing. Has a little bit more in leaf size than mango A. So these guys are definitely bigger. If I can just kind of give you a chopstick for reference here. I'll just zoom in so you can kind of see that. This guy fared a little bit better with the uh, wear and tear moving outside because um, I did not train these as well as I had liked, but here we are. It is, uh, they, but it still looks great. And I do have what looks to be, and I thought this was, um, I thought this was an issue in my last video, but now that I see this up close a little bit more as it's aged, it's not actually a problem. It looks like it's actually woodiness coming in here a little bit uh, on, on the trunk of this tree. So that's kind of a great sign to see. And you can see the little root ball still coming up here out of the ground. I should cover this up just to um, make sure this isn't exposed. So when I move this into the tent, I still am moving this in and out on my front porch to get the sun. Um, once I move this in, I'm gonna fertilize this and then put some more soil over this root so that it gets covered. I don't want anything growing out of this or, or anything and taking away from the energy of the, uh, the main tree here. But uh, as you can see, pretty straightforward on this. We have levels of growth as we keep going up. And even if we look at the top here, we still see some tendrils starting to form at the top, at the peak of this tree. So we're gonna be getting another, and it seems that after every tendril, it kind of wants to grow up about maybe a quarter to a half inch at a time. Nothing really growing out on, on this tree. So I'm not seeing any sideways growth yet that I can see. But the, the trunk of this is pretty thick. It is thicker than this chopstick. But it does look strong. It's been going pretty well. And once it has enough energy, we'll start seeing these top leaves perk up but I do have this in a pretty massive pot to give you scale. This is what those number two pots look like. So I do have this in a pretty much bigger pot and that's really just so I can see this thing grow a little bit more compared to Mango A. 
And I do suggest you take a look at the prior video for this and also the videos for Mango A, just so you can compare and contrast. You can see that these are more mature leaves. They're flat down here on the bottom. And uh, coming up on another level, we can see, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. You can kind of see all the ridges on these leaves, which is kind of cool. And then on these top leaves, very shiny, different colored. They don't have their color in yet. They haven't gotten the sun and uh, whatnot, but very flimsy too. So very brittle, I, I, I hate to say brittle, they're just flimsy. And then that new growth coming in on the top. So that's great to see. Once that kind of growth stops at the top here, you'll start seeing it branch out. Or if I decide to cut back here to one of these buds, um, it'll, it'll do the same thing, it'll just grow outward. So yeah, I'd be interested to see what this whole root ball looks like, but we're not gonna be repotting this for a while, especially in this kind of pot. I just wanted to give it enough room to expand and grow on its own and just kind of see what it goes, for the first year at least. Um, I think I did this in the middle of the winter. I, I took a seed and uh, I think it was February, March that I did this. So we're now in October, we're now at the end of October really. And um, it's been a while. We're, we're getting close to like, what, three quarters of a year. So. Really, really looking forward to seeing how this guy looks like at, on its one year anniversary of uh, coming out from its seed pod and going into the ground. Let's see if I can give you a kind of a tour of it all the way around. Really cool, huge leaf at the top here. And I've kind of noticed that leaves are getting a little bigger as they go up, which is awesome. That's what we want to see. And we just kind of have like a, like a cascade of leaves here. They're not all coming out straight. They kind of just come out whimsically here and they come out, let's see if we can go kind of like in a fan form on the top there. So nothing like straight or, um, you know, mirror like on this guy. Let's keep going around here. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions for any kind of fruit, citrus, anything like that that you want to see on my channel, I do a lot of lemons, I do mangoes, uh, do have some pomegranate that I'll be showcasing more on my channel here in the winter, hopefully. Um, let me know down in the comments below. This guy, again, like I said, growing from a seed pod in March and already probably a foot and a half, two foot tall. So not too shabby. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Make sure if you like this to hit the like button. And um, if you have any comments, like I said, put them down below. Questions, comments, concerns, things you wanna see, things you want me to see uh, on my channel, any kind of tree, really. And if you really did like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell that goes next to it, just so that you get notifications as I post videos. I do try to do three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, as my schedule allows. And I like to put little shorts in as well and some community posts. So make sure to check those out as well. And, uh, and let me know what you think, all right? So until next time, guys, this is Greg, Greg's Bonsai, Mango, a, uh, Mango B, sorry. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Take care.